addressee. This is for those who stand beside and not behind. A leader without support is a bell without a clapper, is a thunder with no bass. This is for Minnie Baldock, for Louisa Garrett Anderson, for Margaret Ashton and the over 50 others. This is for the men who campaign too, for the men who unpeel the spike-riddled layer of privilege from their body without crying over its loss. This is for Dame Millicent Fawcett, for she whose selflessness was a gift she never stopped unwrapping, for she who in 1918 opened a floodgate for change, a year where the first women were given the right to vote. This is also for the women with names but without a mouth to echo them, the ones who fought even when the sky was a veil drowning their colored faces. This is for Caroline Criado Perez, who started a petition to commemorate women's suffrage with a statue. This is for Julian Waring, who created the statue. This is for the women who continue to prove that a mountain is moved not by the flicker of whispers, but by a rapture of hands. This is for those who listen when courage calls who stand by the phone so often, the ringing sound now rests in their bodies. Timestamp, 1866, at 19, Millicent Fawcett had started petitioning to Parliament for women's suffrage. She folded violence behind her ear and used knowledge as a cement to build everything on. Because a woman who has knowledge will see the palm lines of her hands bloom into a map of the world. Today, Women make up 33% of local councils in England, but 15% in leadership roles. Still, I praise change, but dare it to stop crawling and run faster, because protesting has no emotional expiry date. Statue. Wearing a half-bronze pinkish grey nightgown, Millicent Fawcett will stand poised, watching the world from Parliament Square because a woman is powerful even in stillness, because a young girl will point at her and ask for a story to conjure up, because visibility is a portal for another woman to see and enter. Signed letter. This is for they who listen when courage calls, who stand by the phone so often the ringing sound now rests in their bodies. This is for those who fight to take on the name, the first woman to be many plaques still left to be written on. Thank you.